Well, time is ticking for people in the West End looking for affordable housing. The housing stock in that neighborhood is changing and a large number of residents continue to be displaced. WCPO 9 News reporter Lisa Smith spoke with a resident who was trying to beat the clock in this Move Up Cincinnati report. Markavius Casey has loved the West End since he arrived in the neighborhood at age 16. I saw the beauty in this way before any organization or any group of people who supported the organization. He's working now to take the steps to qualify for a home loan, but with all of the development and change in the area, especially with FC Cincinnati, he's not sure how much longer he can call the West End home. I am now uh, competing uh, uh, with organizations that are trying to uh, you know, flip this neighborhood. Five years from now can be very scary for the West End. Alexis Kidd is the executive director of Seven Hills Neighborhood Houses. The scare is the neighborhood is having trouble holding on to affordable housing. It could be where we see a lot of people having foreclosures, having to move out of the neighborhood and not being able to find a drop of affordable housing in sight. The nonprofit is trying to raise money to rehab some of the dilapidated housing in the area. There may be a five year plan that we have to work out but that means that house will sit there vacant for another five years. A few homes are slated for upgrades here on Bay Miller through Habitat for Humanity, Seven Hills and the port, but the need is much greater. Someone that can pay 500 in rent, 400, 500 in rent, um, those properties are kind of disappearing. Those are non-existent these days. Residents here in the West End have about a 44% risk of being displaced, according to the most recent housing study, because of rising rents and increased housing costs. It's just been exacerbated. It's like like the gates are open and everyone sees the value now. Kid believes the West End can still be home to old and new residents with an approach that includes adequate affordable or workplace housing alongside market rate housing. The alternative could mean the end of current residents in the West End. Will be OTR 2.0 and that's not what we want. Lisa Smith, WCPO 9 News.